year. Are you looking for more consistency this year, week after week, excellence? Uh, yes, I'm looking for more consistency. Last year was my first year getting in there, so it was kind of new to me. But uh, growing and getting more mature, having more confidence to make more plays, it's going to be a big factor this year. What's sort of diff- what's different about this year? Because last year you were preparing as a freshman starter, as a first time starter. Is it easier this time around, or uh, I wouldn't say easier because now teams know what I'm about just a little bit. So you know, to the games, they don't just look at me as a first year guy. I mean, they seem that did, but at the same time, they still look at me as a freshman or sophomore. So in their eyes, I'm still a young guy that they can still go after. So I have to prove myself. You hear a lot of times that you know players make their biggest improvements in you know, the first year playing or the second year. Do you feel like that's true? And I mean, do you, do you feel that heading into this year that you're ahead of where you were last year? Uh, yeah, it's a film run that to the playbook. I pretty bad at taking it out. So everything is executed on the field and you learn to take it out. I got to be like the playbook now. So I learned to both sides and I'm playing fast now. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know, I feel you play with kind of a agree with that? Where did that come from? Uh, just coming from where I come from, we came just growing up. That's how I was raised and everything. Just trying to take everything. There's nothing going to be given to you. So when you get an opportunity, you got to try to take it. Because somebody next in line is going to try to take your uh, spot. Is that pretty much how all the people will be those guys think? Yeah. yeah, that's how our program ran. I mean, Bullet Hills, everything pretty much ran the same as the college system. Year round workouts and getting on the field and film and stuff like that. So it was really a drop off and coming down. Ten, ten percent of the roster came from your woman those are player. And that's the you know, you know a source of pride for you guys, right? Yeah, and we talk about that all the time in the locker room. There's about five guys from East Ten. Yeah. He's like five guys from uh East Ten and uh so uh, you ever talk about boy it'd be nice to play those guys one time? Yeah, nice we talk about it all the time. Uh, I'm from Duquesne, so that used to be a rival with Claire in Duquesne. We used to yeah. tell them all the time. But they probably wouldn't have got out of the state rings if Duquesne was still there. big adjustment going from Coach House to Coach Pitt's team is your position coach? Not a big adjustment because Coach House is still there with us. He's just trying to give Coach Pitt's team a little bit more so we can, because he got more experience. He played 10 years in the league, so he can help us out a little bit more like on our technique wise with feet and hands and stuff like that and pressing off. Have you noticed that help already? Because like you said, you know, played in the NFL you know, recently too. Yeah. So it seems like he's a guy who can relate to you guys. Have you noticed that so far? Yes, I have noticed that. He's a good guy, young still, so he can relate to us. And every time he gives examples, he gives himself as he was in his position before. So that kind of just comes down to earth. And we understand that he understands what we're talking about. How much of the difference is there between the two, the, the battery corner and the field corner spots? By the field corner, I mean, it's like you're out to the field, so it's like passes. You can see things faster because everything is more slower because they're long passes and everything like that. So the passes are quick. You have to like be read your keys and get on the point. The biggest change in the defense with a new coordinator, from the old guy to uh, to Matt. Um, I really can't say the difference. I mean, we play a lot more zone man reads and stuff like that. A lot more uh, line, linebackers is more in the pass, um, the pass uh, coverages and stuff like that. So we get help underneath, and we ain't got to chase receivers all over the field like we did before. So there's not as much one on one for the corners. Yes. Do you like that, or would you rather be matched up one on one? It don't matter. I like one on one. I like the challenge of receivers. I like to get up and press a lot. Is there much trash talking going on out of the practice field, or do you save it for the other team? No, I kind of try to save it. These are our guys, and I don't try to get into that back and forth work. Mm-hmm. Is there any goals for yourself this year, Lafayette? Um, just be more consistent. Try to be a playmaker on, on the field uh, and off the field, be a leader because I am going into my second year. So. Goals. We just try to make plays, be a playmaker, and help out my teammates. Do you think you reached the peak last year in the Notre Dame game because you played really well in that game? Uh, there was more room, room for improvement. I mean, I could have made more plays than I did, but I think all over, over, it was a good game. But 
I still seen spots where I could have made better plays. There was a couple times I could have had a couple interceptions, but I didn't make them because I didn't trust myself as much. Was, was it tough to continue to play a long season you maybe you weren't used to? You were 13 games in, in, in college and what, 9 or 10 and depending on playoffs in high school, right? Mm -hmm. Is that a big transition for you? Think, yeah, you it's a big transition just because, I mean, the athletic ability level is just higher. I mean, and I'm on defense now. I didn't play too much defense in high school, so just coming in every week trying to study and learn the offense and the receivers and routes they run and stuff like that is a lot harder than just coming in and running back in high school and kind of running off your linemen's blocks and reading linebackers and stuff like that. Is there only one ACC receiver that you're most looking forward to going against this year? Uh, I haven't got too much into the sound work, but Florida State, number 80, and number one because he's a big guy. And then number 80 is a small, faster guy. So those are two guys that we got our heads on right now. Do you think those guys might have been more talented than anything you, you saw last season in the Big East? Uh, more speed. More speed. Uh, they ain't too much that aggressive when, you, when uh, shown on film and people got up and pressed him, but they're pretty good receivers, so I'm ready for the challenge. Do you expect to turn kicks again this year? Or have they given you any indication either way? Yes, I'm expecting to return kicks. I mean, right now they got me one on the depth chart, but guys is trying to come in and take that spot. So, I mean, just showing consistency, and once we get out on the field and wrapping it, I try to make plays out there. Tyler? Yeah. <laughs> well, is there, you guys are the same numbers, so obviously you couldn't be on the field at the same time. Has there been any talk of either of you guys changing to be on the field at the same time, or will it be one or the other? Yeah, there wasn't any talk about that yet. So, whenever, whatever coach want to do that. It's going to be a decision, so we'll just have to accept it. If you're both on the field at the same time, who gives up number 23? Mm -hmm. That'd be a hard question to answer. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to let that one go. <laughs> <laughs> I think that means Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Is it good? Thanks.